Hello everyone. Welcome to Fried Dice Paradise Presents. Hello oh. everyone. Oh. Welcome to the Fried Dice Paradise Presents. Oh no, Hello, what happened everyone. to John? Oh. Welcome to the Fried right. right. And do you remember to put in your card today? Ouch. Yes, it's inside. It should be look, it should be coming up soon. Cool beans. I can see the Nice. So, um, we're waiting for um, Denise to come back, and Rude's mic isn't on for some reason. Da 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 da. So, um, we'll be we'll let them adjust the technical difficulties for now. But, quick announcement. Of course, mi there will be a mini giveaway. They'll be lasting for the next forty-eight hours. Oops, sorry. I'm Yay! Here. I was What's panicking for a moment. I, I I think I didn't. I'm using a new browser, and I didn't allow them access to my microphone. So this whole time, I, I thought you could hear me. I'm using Brave now instead of Google Chrome. Hello. Hello. Hi, Denise. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. That's good. <laughs> you ninja out of nowhere. I also see. Uh, we now have Fluffle Fur following us. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we'll let her figure out her mic, and yeah. So I was talking about the mini giveaway. Uh, we'll be this mini giveaway will will be around for the next forty eight hours. If you're a follower, you get one slot. If you are, if you have been a sub, it will be three. And if you have been a gifter, it would be um, what do you call that? Five, five tickets. Yes. Yeah, five chances. So, Hello. if you want a free mini... Oh, hi, Rue. Oh, I'm here. Hi. Yes. Welcome. It works. That, that, that took too long. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for being patient with us. And thank you guys for showing up. I hope you all are doing well, chat. Hi, Crixita. Hi, Bear. Hope you guys are doing well. So, uh, because you complain about being last, John, how are you? <laughs> Hello. I'm good. At the end of another work week, so kind oh, of. Oh yeah, fun. you're interning. But it's fine. Yeah, I'm ready Speak to play some D and D again. Yeah. Speaking, speaking of John, okay. Um, he is he slowly one upping the three of you. Sorry, what? He he has sent me. What's uh, he doing? Two paragraphs of background. Yes, <laughs> I'm content. By... And I'm like, <laughs> wow. Where, where, where are the rest of your backgrounds? Uh, I don't know your characters at all. How do I create a world for them? You, you didn't. <laughs> you created it. <laughs> it's the magic world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, well, we'll still be in Amonkhet today. And um, I, I think I finally have Theros. So um, we can definitely... I haven't read it. It's going to take a while for me to catch up on Theros, which is the Greek-inspired world. And um, I'm th I'm thinking of uh, maybe we will ask on Discord instead if there's any world that people want to explore since there's some of them who are big Magic fans and don't know the world. And um, if you want to pick the world, I guess you can just type in Discord and you can join our Discord here. Yes, help destroy the party. No, <laughs> don't destroy the party. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt I felt a little bad about the angel last week. I, I did promise to be nicer, but no one died, right? No one died, but I think it twice. Yeah, I think it's so. Worse. So my math still worked, checked out. <laughs> I don't think I even got damaged, did I? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're not playing a you're not playing a rogue anymore. Yeah, I was just. Detached from the battle, <laughs> like yeah. coward. Uh, Rue, how are you? I am good. I just finished my um, token today, so I drew Leon. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, I saw it. Uh, I'll need some time to. <coughs> I'll need some time to change it into a token, and I think sure, uh, no Denise also needs some time to like. Uh, Alpha it and put it into the overlay. I think it, it really sticks out, but yeah, it's alright. 
<laughs> it's super cute. It's I love it. It's cute in your style. It's very mm. fat. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Leon is fat. He's supposed to be fat. So that's good. I feel like Leon's a cute boy, you know? He is. He's, he's kind of also an old man. So I'm not sure. Cute old boy. But yeah, he's a cute old perverted man. Perverted? Yeah, he's quite That's perverted. Neat. So he's like, I don't know, Jiraiya or something like that? Oh yeah, kind of, but cute. Jiraiya isn't very cute. Is he? <laughs> I feel bad. I love you, Jiraiya. I mean... I mean... We should play Naruto D&D. Okay, no. <laughs> Everyone Who plays rope. Oh, yeah, and monks, yeah. right? I'm a monk. Like, I think, I think uh, Jir- Jiraiya is questionably uh, cute. I don't think he's meant to be attractive in the st- standard sense. Hell no. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the whole the whole star, his whole love life is him always hitting on Tsunade and never getting. Actually, any... the Naruto character that I had a huge crush on wasn't like any of the wasn't any of the conventional ones. I really liked Shino, like the bug guy. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, he was like so dark and mysterious, but nobody understood me. You know, every week you say, "I'm not weird." <laughs> yeah. What? Shino. Say kind of hot. Else. Everyone, go and check. Go check Shino you, out. You can't even, even see Shino, he hides in his hoodie and his. Yeah, that's why he leaves everything to the imagination. Isn't uh, that great? I mean. <laughs> okay. I, I ain't here. Okay, I, I might be a bit weird. No, it's okay. It's okay. Everyone has their own taste, you know? So, so how choose your favorite Naruto character? Uh, since we're talking about ne- Naruto. Ne- ne- Neji, 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 Neji. Neji? Yes. Right. I think it is named wrong, right? Too. I mean, spoilers, but he dead though. <laughs> yeah, yeah I know, I cried so much. It's, yeah, he, okay, yeah, it's, it was a bit of a bonus kill, but yeah. At least it was, he was I... great while he lasted. Okay, my, I, I think my choice is, I mean, I don't think it's as weird as Bruce, but it's still kind of weird. Um, I, I, I'm a huge friend, a fan of uh, Haku. Oh, Haku is cool though. Wait, yeah. who's Haku? The water. Um, the mirror the kid. One. Mirror? Oh, the kid is dead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Most of the mark. Um, Most of the kids in Naruto die. I don't know if it's because he's a pretty boy. Yeah, that might really be pretty. it. Yeah. The Haku was my favorite. Yeah. He was so badass, but. He did. Yeah, he did too. Oh. Rue and John. Uh, Rue, Foof and John. Do you guys have fave Naruto characters? Um, I don't watch Naruto, but but <gasps> before anyone comes at me, I do have a favorite character because it's based wow. on a meme. You know the Sas- Sasuke Wall Kabedon meme. <laughs> do you guys know that meme? Please. Yeah. Okay. Do you like Sasuke? See, I just like the meme, so it, it, that's the only character I know <laughs> from Naruto. So I'm, I mean, Sasuke is supposed to be stereotypically the hot one. Yeah. The hot one. Which I don't understand because Shino is so much hotter. <laughs> well. <laughs> Guys, I'm not deluded. I actually believe this. I'm gonna Google. What's his name? Shino Aburame. Cappuccino. I don't, I don't even know Haku's surname. Haku doesn't have a surname. Well, after like, writing oh, that's why. Shino Aburami several oh, times dude. in your journal, you kind of memorize oh. it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like him, I like him. He's cute. He reminds me of Honey from, from Oran High School. Oran she High know? School host club. Yeah. No. I mean, he's a pretty boy, is he not? He looks like a pretty boy. Except for when he has that weird, weird demon eyes. I mean, besides that, he's a cute. No, no, I think, I think she's talking I'm about Sasuke. Sasuke. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking about Chi- is it Chino. But Shino, Shino, you can't even see his eyes. Shino, he wears dark glasses Wait, all the time and he covers every inch of his skin. Yeah. Wait, I let me go a bit in chat. I and O, and I'm getting this really cute pretty boy. Uh, no, it, that's not Brown him. Hair. I'm so confused right now. Oh, to... I think it says Chino. John, do you I watch now? <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna apologize for it. For what? <laughs> I'm not watching Naruto. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, she knows. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm still. It's gonna be a very different result to me. Yes. So, so wait. So, John, you didn't watch Naruto. Nope. Okay. Oh man. I mean, like I've seen it before, but I don't like follow it or like I don't actively go and like watch videos on it. I mean, okay. I, I think Naruto is you know super. It's just easy to get into anime. Cause it's not too weird. Yeah, but like I've never really been like very interested. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't expect you to watch it. Uh, I mean, just like you shouldn't expect your character to survive sessions. But are <laughs> <laughs> you say that again? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, my friend. Please don't, please don't leave the group. <laughs> nah, I won't. Yeah, I'll see uh, this okay, through. So, I'll see this through. Uh, it's nice to see that you guys are doing well. Uh, my house, my room, finally fixed the aircon, so I'm freezing right now. That's nice. But at least it's quieter than the fan. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys so much for coming down and uh, watching watching the show. I think we will get started. I hope you guys are ready. Any last words, my friends? <laughs> Bring it. Don't let me die. I'm the tank. <laughs> I'm gonna I give you guys. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys about twenty seconds to think of how to introduce yourself and your character before we get started. So your thinking time starts now. Last time, on Fried Dice Paradise presents Oath of the Late Watch. I'm on Ket. The longest title I'll ever have for a game. The party arrives and meets for the first time as they all you know, explore their various means of planes walking. Arriving on the plane of Amonkhet, an Egyptian inspired fantasy world, where they're immediately greeted by several guards pointing spears at their faces. As they all open their eyes and brush off the sand from their clothes, a man no, a boy named Temet walks up to them and asks them who they are. After some introductions, they head over to meet the goddess Oketra, who then claims that they could possibly make a crop of their own, which they promptly name the Duh Crop. <laughs> Sorry. Temet instructs them to prepare for engaging in the trials of which they pick the trial of ambition, but not before they meet up with Hapatra, the vizier of poisons, who has taken a keen interest in the party. They eventually go through the trial of ambitions the following day, where initially being benevolent, they had chosen to cooperate with the first group to the success. However, the following two groups they had chosen not to cooperate, causing two groups to fall into the pit and fight monsters. The last pit that they had gone into, the fourth pit, they had both chosen not to cooperate and they were immediately attacked by an angelic figure which had almost killed the party. Now the party continues, so let's do our character introductions. Let's start with Cersei's, for obvious reasons. Hey, I'm Cersei from the pl the plane of Zendikar, and for some reason I'm on Amon Cat now because this is the game. What else should I say? <laughs> You're, uh, you can talk about your class and your your race because your race is pretty uncommon. Yeah, so uh, for those who do not know, Cersei's is uh, a core, and cores are like this unique kind of uh, race solely from the planet of Sandikar. And the core are very good at like athletics and like climbing stuff. And in particular, my character was a very uh, renowned Tomb Raider, like on the planet, on the plane of Sandikar. And yeah. All right. 
since um, Card Nomad is on the screen, would you like to go next? Sure. Hello. So, I am Card Nomad, our residential house um, edge lord. So, um, hailing from the town of Nikta, um, Card is a hexblade warlock and he's a tiefling. But don't be fooled, uh, as because he is very edgy and he's very tall and dark and mysterious with a robe and with like a very very um stone like black face kind of thing like he he means business you know and he wants to get things done quickly so that's so that's card nice let's go for summer surprise since um she's on the screen right now hey okay so some surprise is like a happy go lucky drag queen and she totally loves sunshine and summer and everything happy and bright and beautiful. Yeah, uh, hailing from Zendika, she was like, wait, Zendika? No, I'm wrong. You're from Kaladesh, my friend. Oh my god, hailing from Kaladesh, like, I totally like, re like invented the whole like drag culture thing along with some other friends of mine. And we're like, totally like one of the first few drag queens in the entire like world, I guess. Like, magic world, I guess. I don't even know whether there are drag queens in the magic world, but yeah. Yeah. I I mean, I bet I bet there is. It's just not formally explored in the world, but totally. Last but not least, Leon. So I'm Leon Dusby. I come from Kaladesh as well. I am probably the oldest in the group. I'm a little bit of a pervert. Um, let me think. Oh yes, and I love to annoy the two edge lords because we have two edge lords in our group and. Yeah, I just love to push their buttons and make them upset. So I'm a dwarf and I really like um, I really like nature. So I get very excited when I see nature and forests and trees, etc, etc. Yeah, and if you ever want to look um, at the characters, the cards are shifting every like 30 seconds or so. So you can look at their general stats there. Um, you can also type in exclamation mark M players in chat to look at updates just like that and uh, before I continue with the story nothing is canon everything is made up there's so many magic stories I'm not gonna keep up with keeping everything in canon so you guys um, are with the bandits and uh, one of them uh, sits down panning and the leader she looks at you and she says so, I guess we go our separate ways. Good luck for the following trials. She stands up and they start moving towards the door behind them. Bye! Likewise. You what? I rolled my I likewise. Also, um, I wrote in big capital letters in my notes to loot the angel. <laughs> So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, roll an investigation check. Oh my god, oh my god, wait, wait, I realized I did not open my sheets. Okay, uh, investigation is it? Okay, rolling. What a, okay, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes things be like that. Give me a second, just fixing my, my headphones. I, I, you rolled a nine. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> oh, what a great way to start today's session. Exactly, <laughs> with all the bad luck being washed away, right? So optimistic. <laughs> Starting with the bad rolls. Alright. Okay. Um, as you look through the angel, uh, you find that whatever it was holding before, like the scepter, um, it it seems to be just a piece of metal. Like it's mundane and all the magic was from the angel itself. So if you do want to pick it up, it is a mace. Ooh, you know what? I'm a hexblade. I have fascination with blades or weapons in general, so I'm just gonna pocket it. 
Okay, so um, you can just add mace to your sheet. Right. I will. I'll drop the stats in during the break or something. Okay. Uh, yes. If you need, if you need the stats, just let me know, and I will. I'll open it up. Cool. So yeah, the the door is shining up behind you guys, beckoning for all of you to enter the next room. Do we know like how much time we have? Do, do we have to do all of these in like? back to back or do we get to rest in between or there was it was not stated oh is is this if like if we look up uh do we see like all the different platforms and where everyone is like getting ready to drop into this arena yeah so you guys can see the platforms above mm -hmm. um doesn't see there doesn't seem to be anyone on at least the opposing platform right now okay okay so you reckon possible? Not sure. You'll wait for the vizier to chase you guys out. <laughs> that would be annoying. Mm -hmm. it's sorry, uh like because it's a circular thing where it's, we can see yeah. up, right? So can we see how many levels there are? Uh do you wanna look at the map again? Yep. Yeah. Yep, um the map. This map. Yeah. Okay, no, sorry. What I'm, what I'm envisioning is that this is like a tower, and then we just dropped into the basement. Like, is, is oh, this yeah, you guys see the ceiling. You see the grating in the middle, the shadow, the grating. Yep. Yeah, that's what you see. Like, through the grating, you see the sky. Oh. Okay, alright, alright. Uh, I guess we can't count. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you can't really gauge whether it's mm. magical or not. That's interesting. All right. Well, um, we should probably heal up. I know Summer is a little bit wounded. So is so so is Leon. Oh, on on roll twenty, he, he looks fine. He looks perky yeah, AF. I'm actually fine now. <laughs> Do I have to change? On roll twenty, he looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, no meta game. Okay, let's. So, do you want to take a long rest or a uh, short rest or not? Uh... I'd like to rest up. Um, right now uh. my health looks fine, but I don't know whether I am fine. <laughs> Wait, but you shouldn't be. I'm trying not to remember. You shouldn't be that healthy. Right. Yeah, because you went down twice, and it's not like we healed you. Yeah, up. it's not right. like I recharged that fast. Uh. I mean the the sheet really? says it's max. We can we can look uh, in the past. This is a mundane thing, um, like it's super low level. It's the only one. It, I I don't think Brew changed the health, and we can look back uh, after the game. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's mainly just uh, Summer who is, my, well, less than healthy right now. And clutching my ribs. I don't know. I don't know where I got smashed, but clutching my ribs and my bleeding. <laughs> yeah, flowing on my mom like I so really like to just like rest a bit. It hurts. We should rest. Yeah. Can I pet Summer's head? Yeah. But I'm kind of old and perverted, <laughs> so I, it is a bit creepy. I I just wiggle my head out away from her. His it and <laughs> <laughs> it hates me. Everyone I, hates me, and I, I don't, don't know why. I don't hate you. You're just really mean. Mean? Yeah. We done. That's mean. We, uh, if you hadn't forgotten, like two groups before this, you guys were like, "Oh my god, let's just backstab them," and then they both freaking fell down here to fight like probably this weird angel monster thing. You have to let that go. I'm not. And you're mean. I know. I know. Think about it. Happen, but it feels like a week <laughs> ago. <laughs> Wait, guys, guys, calm down. Think about it. You know, we actually made a friend right here during the battle. We bonded, so I guess it's not really backstabbing. It's more of like an experience that we all had to go through together to grow as people. And I, 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 sh I go it back into the darkness. <laughs> not like they died. I think. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, I think they died. I mean, we only think that twice. Think. I think they did. Are you <laughs> asking me if they're dead? Uh. No, I'm just wondering to myself. Are they dead? Can I try and look and see if... Wait, do they all fall into the same place? 
Like this isn't the only pit they can fall into, right? Yeah. No, the the bandits they left already. <laughs> so wait, just... I'm confused. Yeah, I did. I didn't delete it from the map, but the the bandits had left already. I bandits. Should've just chosen co I guess let's, let's just let's just go, okay? Are you rested? Do we rest here or do we rest in the next area? I don't know. Let's rest here. If okay. more people drop we'll run. But what if they <laughs> <laughs> But what if they like lock the arena or something? I don't know. Okay, that is a good idea. Right. Yeah, we can we can we can go through and then rest, I guess. And then choose to not cooperate. But yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay. So yeah. you guys begin walking through the door. Yeah. Sheesh. And yet again, you guys enter another area that looks like this. Do we have to start from the ground now? You have what no you idea. Mean? Or you don't remember. Oh man, we should have asked. Didn't ask. It's our fault. And not, no one but ourselves to blame. Right, let's do it. Do not cooperate all the way. That's right. I like your enthusiasm. I, so I, yeah, you I guys begin walking. <laughs> Wait, have we have we gone through the, the the portal yet? Back to where we are supposed to be headed to. Yeah, I guess you guys are walking now. Okay. It's a. Uh, if you remember, the lo the walk in the hallway is pretty long. Oh. Right? All right. Cool. It's like half an hour, half an hour or so. What? An hour long. Yeah. I mean, like stroll, you know. It's like half a uh, half an hour stroll, as you walk through with magical lights, um, and along the way, of course, you see hieroglyphics depicting the the five uh, gods, and eventually, after about the thirty minutes, you guys reach yet another area that kind of looks like this as well. And I'm just gonna drag you guys up here, because this is what it looks like. I appreciate it's being dragged first. <laughs> yeah, so you guys see the two stones and you guys see a group across. On the other side? Yep. Um, um, you see a pair of Kenra twins, a human, and a massive minotaur. Um, one of the Minotaur looks like one of his horns has been broken off. They fought. They've been betrayed. What a loser. <laughs> it sinks a bit and touches his own horn, like, ouch. Yeah. But, yeah. They look reasonably banged up. Let's go. What is the plan? Can we what is the plan? Like, or something. Sorry, what? Can we see? Can we check for the propensity to cooperate, <laughs> like we did with the previous group? I yeah, we, we, just, we, just up, right? we just held up a sign and hoped that it would. Then we and then we betray them. I like that idea. All right, all right. Summer, do your thing. I don't agree with this. I am. <laughs> I'm like just a cog in the machine. Oh, and I do my thing. We all are. <laughs> so you, uh, you shine a big cooperate, right? Yeah. The corporate symbol. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Let me roll for this. Uh, do you Actually, I can me... I can GM roll. On do you want me to persuade? Do a persuasion. Yes, I yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Big money, no webbies. Oh fuck. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. They look like we look like work. <laughs> yep. Um. They look at you. Uh, they raise up uh, their their thumb, pointing up, and then the minotaur smiles, and then you see that he's missing like two teeth. Oh god! Ooh. And then one of them stabs one of the one of the options. Oh, I thought he stabbed. Yeah, like, I right thought you, I thought the other guy was gonna get stabbed. Oh, no, 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 no! He stabbed one of the options. <laughs> remember, they stabbed they stabbed the stone. Remember? Yes, they look. They did look friendly. Alright, let's do it. Let's beat the system and suddenly cooperate. Yeah, I, for once, I'm surprised. I agree. Let's go, let's go. Oh, the I, I agree with the motion yeah, of cooperating. We're, we're, we're gonna fight. We're still gonna fight. Are you guys trying to make up for the guilt? No, I'm not. 
I'm just saying. No, that no, no. Yes, they are. Really? Also, I, I, just, like I just fold my arms and like look at them. Okay, no, then I look at I look at the rest of the team. I was like, hey guys, do you guys feel like cooperating? I start singing a song about cows. I love what? cows. Cows are nice. <laughs> they can't. They can't hear you from here. But I think if yeah, you did, I'm you'd just, be mildly I'm... offended. <gasps> <I'm stopped singing. laughs> There's a minute. But I like cows. <laughs> wow. Okay. Like like Leon likes cows. Minute talk. Oh my god, is PC shaming? I just like cows. <laughs> Everyone being very. Oh, minute talk allowed here. <laughs> so what are you guys stabbing? <laughs> Corporate. <laughs> I stab it. Clever, and I start dancing, but in my head, not because I'm an age <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't emote out outside. I need to show these people that we can be betrayed if we don't betray others first. <laughs> so, but don't tell them that. The door behind you begins to shimmer open. Wow! <gasps> yes. Oh and behind God. them as well. You should have been before. doing this since the very start. Oh. Sorry, I, I, I don't want to listen to a lecture by Cersei. Yeah, Cersei, there's no difference. You know, f so far we've only lost once, and every time we didn't cooperate, we actually like got off safely. You know, I put so my no. fingers, I put we... my fingers in my ears for the next half an hour walk. <laughs> we cooperated twice, and like both times was okay. We co didn't cooperate three times, and one time we fell in the pit. Yeah, I'm not good That's at mathematics. Thirty-three point three three percent. Good chance. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, and then the minute the Minotaur raises both his fists up, both thumbs up, and you see his like big, um, like uncut nails, and then he smiles really big, and then the you see the two Kenra, the jackal folk, both um, high like high ten each other, Aww. and then they smile, and then they walk to the back. Before they like, walk away, like, I wink like, back. Before they they, they, they they walk away, I make like a big smiley face appear. Ta-da! Yeah, then the, the last person um, raises a thumbs up as well Human. as they begin to exit. Human trying to show off that he has opposable thumbs. <laughs> they have opposable thumbs, what are you talking oh. about? <laughs> I thought I could get off the that, sorry. But yeah. I feel cool. bad. That warms okay, the cockles of my heart. heart. <laughs> Truly warm. Cool. The cockles. All right. I guess we carry on. Walk, walk. So as you guys begin to walk through this hallway, um, having fought only one big fight uh, that injured you guys pretty hard, you guys suddenly begin to reach, see the hallway begin to open up wider and wider, and eventually you guys approach what appears to be some kind of throne room and sitting oh. on said throne is this crocodile headed massive figure okay i just immediately fall to my knees i have no pride <laughs> you mean you have no shame yeah i have no shame like immediately <laughs> just drop to my knees and start worshipping um <laughs> You see this creature like um, s slam his or her staff, you don't know yet, on the floor and stands up and points um, at you with the staff. Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> Bye guys. And then she says, Worthy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, what? We're worthy? <laughs> Me? Yeah, then I look behind and then like... I, uh, it's okay. I look <laughs> It's ain't just you. Oh, it's all of us. <laughs> it was oh, yeah. I my head slightly and say, thank you. Means a lot. I can see. And then um, <laughs> she, sits, she sits back down and she looks at you. And then she says, Come closer. So I just dropped her card in chat. Whoa. So you guys can see. Bontu. Her name is Bontu. Oh, she she hot. And then she says, "I yeah, mean, <laughs> your, her image is right there, so you can decide for yourself whether you think she's hot or not." Yeah, she is. No, sorry, that was a statement. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, and no way. it was a statement on my end as well. She is hot. Who's when she speaks, there? you hear you hear the boom in your chest. Ooh. Come closer. 
I like immediately get up, scramble forward, and then I drop to my knees again. And then she she, she raises up her hand, Who and then you see that there is this piece of stone, and then she motions for one of you to get it. I'll get it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let the sucker get it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind so of run up. And as soon as you touch it, you get a vision of how exactly it works. So, for this session, I'm trying something new. Okay. Uh, Houch, can you open this up in a new browser? I will do that. I can do that. I just showed. Browser. I just showed you uh, a link. Yeah, I can do it in this browser actually. So I've been trying. To, I've been trying to move everything into this program called Notion. So if you guys want to see what is in this uh, world, you guys can uh, type in exclamation mark NPCs and you guys would have access to basically all the information that I have on this game. That's pretty dope, man. Oh, also, cool. thank you so much, Zach, for hosting. Really appreciate it. So yeah, down below you can see what the effects of this um, magical item It's pretty yeah, cool. So, someone just read it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the person got Not the it. card, okay? The actual. The actual. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Leon is having technical difficulties. Yeah, it's called a cartouche of ambition. Oopsie. Oh, do I do I, do I do I do I read it all? Yeah, you can read it. It's like a cartouche. Which uh, I'm going to read it to Shay. Cartouche. 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 Oh, like guys, Touche. Don't read the card. Read read the the spell and its ability. The spell. Okay, yeah. cool. So give me like ten seconds. So just read slowly. Cartouche of ambition. So you place a curse on a creature that you can see within range, until the spell ends. You deal an extra 1d6 necrotic damage to the target. I feel like I'm in class. To the target whenever you hit it with an attack. Also choose one ability when you cast the spell. The target has disadvantage on the ability checks made with the chosen ability. If the target drops to zero to zero hit points before the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on a subsequent turn of yours to curse a new creature. A removed curse cast on the target ends the spell early. Uh, remove curse is another spell. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. So, um, any one of you can attune to this item if you wish. Cool. So I sucked up for nothing. <laughs> uh, I mean, you got one item. It's not <laughs> nothing. I think she means she doesn't feel special. Yeah. I want her to like pat my head or something. I want to be constantly validated. And then she can roll for wishing. <laughs> Wish hard enough. And then she sits uh, on her throne and she says, "You have passed the cartouche. Oh, you have passed the trial of ambition. Cartouche. And uh, and you have received the cartouche of ambition. It doesn't make sense, but okay. And you have proven yourselves." to be ambitious and worthy beings. Move along. Okay, on to the next trial. You have the blessing of Bantu. Oh my god, we have a blessing! Yeah! Bantu hasn't even finished talking and you want to go to the next trial. <laughs> and then she like, she slams her, I don't know, when she like slams her staff on the floor, you see this uh, black and purple energy emanate from it and then you just feel it like it booms like a sound wave yeah and then you you feel it like like a strong wind blowing against you guys and then mm -hmm. they have to like you know when you cover your eyes in case the sand flies inside and stuff like that yeah yeah and then she she looks at you and is like continue to your next trial okay Bye. Hey, that's my line. Yeah. Bye. 
you. Yeah. I mean, the exit is pretty clear. So as you guys uh, exit, and you guys return back to the entrance of this, of the temple of Bantu, and then you see the vizier, Epnokep, look at you guys, and he's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. You, you made it? Of course. No, we, no, we didn't made it. This is not us. We are just a bunch of other people. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> and then he's like, Huh. Maybe... Maybe Oketra was right. Bless her... Her foresight. Oh man, I forgot his name. Med? Hey, Med? Med? No, I'm... I no cap. Temet is the boy. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I laugh and say that I'm old. Um, okay. Um, which trial are you heading to next? I'll have one of our, well, initiates guide you there. Shall we discuss? I mean, I recall their solidarity, knowledge, and strength. Few of it has to be last. So, does anyone have any preference? Well, not solidarity. I don't think we. I can agree. Train I feel that. like we need a little bit of work on the department, and I, I stink eye like, Cersei's and like Summer. Not really stink eye, but just like look over. You know, like. Hmm. Right now, Leon and I are in sync. Are we? <laughs> Leon is. I mean, I feel like we agree on certain levels. Really like cows. Yeah, you, like you two agree to be assholes. <gasps> you know, Summer, for someone who's supposedly wholesome, you're kind of very mean. Because yeah. you guys were mean first, okay? Like, I was trying to be wholesome to everyone, but you guys were like, ugh. You are selectively wholesome? And that doesn't sound very wholesome. Oh. I'm, I'm very wholesome in general Jesus, to people who deserve real. to be ho- people to be wholesome too. Alright, alright. I okay, guess I that's go over to the Cersei's. <laughs> Just because he's not talking. <laughs> I guess we can't do solidarity then. And I look yeah. towards Cersei's and I'm like, Cersei's, what do you want to do? Glitch or strength? So we should like all celebrate after completing one trial. Let's go to the bar. No, <laughs> You're my Drink man. Drink on me. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds Why is Sergei so nice? Wasn't he playing his harmonica and contemplating life? Yeah, now let's go to the bar and then I can play my harmonica there. <laughs> sure, I wanna dance. Okay. I'm I'm all for going to the bar. Wait, so but guys... are we allowed to go to the bar? Don't we have to do the next the trial? The bar is in Amon Cat. <laughs> Are you asking that or are you asking can me I... or are you asking uh no cap because he's the only one who's there? Can I ask yeah, him let's ask him if, if we can go to the bar first. And then he looks at you. We oh. can go to well, the... why which bar? And why would you want to go to a bar? Are there bars? I mean we have pr- plenty of bars? Do you, know Met- Do you mean prisons by bars? Um, we have. What What do you mean by bar? A, a place where you go and drink and celebrate. I mean, we have water everywhere. What What is a tavern? I say loudly. Ugh, you sound like my mom. <laughs> is that we everywhere? Have... That we can get alcohol to drink? Alcohol? Yeah. Just alcohol. Booze, beer, wine, stout, whiskey. I mean, we have... We have some wines. Usually, Hapatra provides them to... Um, celebrate our strongest warriors, but... I have no idea what this bar or tavern means. This plane is super boring, guys. Oh, it's plane. Yeah, I don't like this place already. 
getting my nerve. Let's complete it and move on as quick as we can. Hopefully, that we can get some good alcohol here. Can we just like, rest for, for a bit first? Okay. I asked for one water and then I wink at Amokat. Okay. Ab no cap. Ab no cap. I'm an old man. Ab no cap. I ask him yeah. for water and then I wink. And then I slide like two blades of grass his way. <laughs> 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 he looks he looks at the grass. And then he like snaps his finger. And then you see like an initiate uh one one of the initiates run up uh with, with a bottle. And then he's like um here you go and then you hear the initiate go sir what can i learn from these crops who have succeeded in the trial of ambition and then he he like shoes him away and he's like uh, um la later later famous because <laughs> he doesn't know what to tell him <laughs> and drink the water is it just water yeah yeah okay great I look disappointed. There's just water. Wink was for nothing. And then Emnocap is like, um, I do not understand what a bar or tavern is, but if you go find Hapatra, I believe she has wine. Oh, oh my god, drinks, guys. Let's go! Yeah, sounds hey, like a couple of trials. Okay, let's go drink some wine. <laughs> So you guys are gonna head uh, to meet Hapatra? Yeah. yeah. Hapatra is the snake lady, right? <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. I, I did it. I did one thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you guys uh, are eventually reached. It's quite pretty far away, but you guys part the the leaves that block the entrance of where she runs her shop or. You can't really tell. It doesn't really look like a shop either. Bothicary, I guess. And as you enter, she's still sitting on her... on her... basilisk. And then you, you see her, like... she's, like, sharpening one of her snake's fangs. With, like, a knife. Does it look like it hurts? Nope. Yes. And then, yeah. She, does, she doesn't notice. She's super focused on sharpening her snake's fang. And I go, Hi, Abatra! <laughs> Can you roll an intimidation check? Oh dear. I, I don't think I was trying to intimidate her, but okay. <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> I'm not gonna roll. <laughs> oh dear. You see her, um... I'm, I'm, I wanna see how badly she messes up. Oh no, she got- please don't injure. Oh, please don't injure the poor guy. Okay, so as she's sharpening it, you say hi, and she jerks, right? Oh, and wow. then she- her hand gets stabbed by the fang. Oh, oh dear. She I'm immediately- she immediately grabs a piece of, like, rope, and then she just tightens her hand. And then you see her hand like start to go like purple, and then she starts sucking like where the where the oh fang went, oh. and then she spits it out, and then she's like, "You could wave first, you know," <laughs> and then yeah. she slowly loosens it, and then she like shakes her hand. But but you, you didn't see us. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, um, oh, you completed one of the trials? Yeah. Oh, I knew you guys could do it. And you, said that, and you said you wanted to do the trial of ambition first. It's, it's because we have ambition. <laughs> yes, indeed, Summer, indeed. We are here so, for the why. <laughs> And <laughs> I love how Darcy is straight to business. How do I? Why? Who said? See? Yeah, I, I look at Farmer. 
I, I look as well as these. <laughs> well, we just want a drink. <laughs> and who said Alcohol I have wine? Not Ab no care. poison. What? I have no care. He was like, oh my god, Hapatro has like wine or something. And we were like, oh my god, wine. So we decided I can't find you. And then for the first time, you see her hop off of her basilisk. <gasps> Ooh. And then she, you see she's she's barefoot, um, and she has vials around her waist, like dozens of vials. And then she pets her basilisk and says, Okay, Tuya, uh, don't worry, I'll be fine. And then she walks over to the side, and then she starts grabbing a bunch of vials and pouring them into a single bottle and then she not not bottle more like carafe and then she like shakes it a bit and then she takes uh, four cups and then she walks over to you and she's like well I guess I can provide some wine as you all succeeded on your first trial Usually people train for years, but you guys have been friends for barely a day. Uh, oh, we are, we're starts, not friends. And she I starts think. pouring the the wine into the cups. Thank you. I tell her that she's my only friend. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Yeah. And then she looks, uh, she looks at you and she's like, Oh, oh dear, Leon. Leon um, gets deception. Sip the wine. It's quite strong. And then she starts, and then she gulps it from um from the carafe. Make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> All of us, or just me? Is it even me? No, no, it's um summer. Yeah. Oh, I thought wants to gulp things down too because he's strong like that. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw as well. Alright. <laughs> Card be Card. not alright. <laughs> I'm not alright, but it's okay. I look cool when I did it. Sir so season Beyond, really? are you slipping or I'm just gonna sip. Yeah. Okay. Uh Leon? Uh, I'm going to like just wet my lips with it and then lick it from my lips. Cause so <laughs> He's I am a creepy coward. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. So, uh, Summer immediately chugs this one. It's a small cup. It's slightly bigger than a shot glass, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe like one point five times the size of a shot glass. Okay. And yeah, so Summer, you you shot it basically, right? Yeah. And it burns. Right, you feel your eyes begin to water. It tastes really good. It has these really nice, like minty hints. Right, mm -hmm. but you you can feel the the like imagine swallowing a bunch of mento mentos nice. straight. Right, that kind of feeling, and then add alcohol on top of that. Ooh. That's what Ooh. it feels like. Right, like a very like minty. Nice feeling. Yeah, I so like so Le Leon, you feel your lips uh taste like mint and very strong alcohol. Right? Same thing for Circe's, except yours is purely on your tongue and it's really enjoyable in that way. Like when, when the alcohol simmers on your tongue. Card nomad. <laughs> would you like to describe your failure? <laughs> and I think you describe my failure. Yeah. Right, because I was edgy, right? So when I took the shot glass. I just immediately in one swoop motion <laughs> but I, well some of it went on my face and but most of it that went down I immediately kind of choked and I felt woozy and I might have if I was sitting down which I think I was I imagined myself sitting down and I fell off my chair <laughs> fortunately so like you you when it spills in your face, you know when you put like toothpaste on your skin. Okay. Have you had that feeling oh, a little before? Bit minty. That's not yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. that bad, but you feel it on your face, and then you know it's it's more annoying than painful. Like 
it's very hard to get rid of that minty feeling uh, mm-hmm. when it touches your skin, and that's what you have on your face right now. Yeah. Well, and then she, she <laughs> Hapatra mm-hmm. looks at you, and she's like, uh, she points at Summer, and she's like, ambitious. And then she looks at um, right. at Card, and she says, ambitious, but stupid. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that, I'll take that. I mean, we did pass the trial of ambition. So, um, what do you all intend on enjoying next? More wine? <laughs> <laughs> More wine? I meant trial. Ask for some local cuisine. She's local cuisine. about the trial, why is everyone talking about wine? <laughs> we are tourists. <laughs> While in we... common tech. You mostly have bread. The those who complete several trials are often offered uh, meat, and uh, we do have some. Let's say, mead. As well, but it's only reserved for those who have completed multiple trials. Usually, for those who are about to enter the trial of zeal. So the trial of you should be done last, right? What? The trial of you should be done last, right? Yes. It the means they everything. That is their celebration, as right. many do not survive the trial of Zeal. Ooh, okay. Sounds like a feast. Shall we continue the trials before we celebrate intensely? Can we rest? <laughs> I'm still holding on to my bloody ring. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh. she looks at you, and then she says, Were the darts useful? We didn't really use them yet. Like, we were pretty, we were pretty strong, you know, and like, we didn't have to use them to, like, pass the trial. And then she, she tilts her head, and then she starts clapping, and she's oh. like, How many fights did you get into? One, my lady. Only one. Yes, we are pretty good um, and ambitious people, indeed. That is very impressive. Mm-hmm. Most of this, most of the crops that I've met, typically fight at least in two or three battles, and often they are they come out maimed or severely hurt. Well, don't get us wrong, someone here is severely hurt, <laughs> and I turn towards both Leon and Summer. Fine. I'm I mean, good. Go, go ahead and... Go ahead and use um, the potion if you need to. I just lie down on the floor. Can we nap here? <laughs> uh, I mean... I, if I can continue my work, yes, you can rest here if you wish. Okay, I curl up and try to sleep for an hour. Oopsie, I muted myself on accident. Um, yeah, so she lets you rest. She goes back to her, she jumps back onto her basilisk and continues. I... Well, what is the next trial you guys want to head to? You know what? Because she asked, we... she's asking again. Okay. So, a part of me wants to take up the challenge. You know, you did say I'm ambitious but stupid. So we shall, if everyone else agrees, take on the trial of knowledge. Because I'm ambitious. But you're stupid. <laughs> oh, start laughing. But you're stupid. Okay. 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 I start singing a stupid song. <laughs> I am. Stupid. He, he low key throws a tantrum and he kind of like storms out, like, fine, whatever. Tell me what you guys want to do next then. And then you see Hepatra just giggling and then she's like painting her nails while listening to you guys. Let's do the trial of knowledge! Sure, sure. And, and while we are taking uh, our short rest, I will also hum to myself and. It is the same effect as a song of rest. <laughs> so we we can if we recover hit points we can regain an extra one D six hit points. 
I believe everyone's at full though except you. <laughs> I believe no, I know that uh Leon took damage though. Yeah, but that Leon's at max back. now, so uh we'll we'll retroactively fix that. I'm I was talking that's what I was talking about just now. And that I'm at right. max now too then. <laughs> we we can't we couldn't check it just now, so this is something that we will fix next time. Fine. Yeah. Then I will use two I'll use three hit dice. I'll use two hit dice plus the one D6 that I get. Yep. Yeah. Ah, and you heal eight HP. Yeah. Okay. So you're at um fifteen, is it? Yep. Cool beans. And then Hapatra, she mentions to you guys while you guys are discussing about the next trial. Um, it's not just about intelligence it's also about hmm, let's say mental fortitude okay <laughs> good luck with that thanks I was just waiting outside her lair tapping his foot impatiently because he can't go back now <laughs> Make a statement, you know. I, yeah. I I guess after the rest, we all go. So I mean, the the different temples are pretty obvious, right? Like they are basically giant heads of the different gods. So you see Kefnit's monument in the distance. Is it a and bird? Ibis head. It's a bird. Oh, it's a bird. Who oh. can? <laughs> so you guys, yeah, you guys definitely can start walking there. It is approaching uh, midday, so you you think that after this, it's most probably really late, and you most probably have to take a long rest after this. Okay. This being the next trial. But yeah, so as you enter this monument, you see another um, another man. He's wearing like, hmm. Yeah, so you guys head into the monument of Kefnet and you're greeted by a man wearing blue robes and he's pretty tall and lanky with lightly tanned skin and then he has like a pair of um, what do you assume are glasses and then he looks Oh, you must be the new crop and then he has like a book uh, not a book like scrolls in his hand and he's like in the midst of writing something <laughs> it sounds like a dumbass <laughs> I, I asked him who are you I am the vizier of Kefnet Neponem 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 hmm are you here for the trial? <laughs> yes. We are here for the trial. He taps his he, he taps his head with the pen like he's thinking. And then he's like ah, not don't appear very knowledgeable. I can tell him I know your name, Napoleon. And then I say it three times fast. Neponin, neponin, neponin. And like, the only one that's stupid is Leon. At that point, you know, not Leon, Card, but Leon's pretty oh, stupid dude, too. Card was like so happy to hear that. <laughs> oh man! And then he looks. Um, I have a question. And he points at Card with the pen. Oh, are you a Minotaur? No, oh, I am not. I am a tiefling. Um, how do I spell that? Well, it's T I E F L I N G. Mm -hmm. Smart people know how to spell their own race. Mm. We seem to be speaking and writing in a different text. I do not understand these symbols you had mentioned. 
tiefling i shall write it in my own and then he like writes in his own like amonkhet language Ooh. and then he looks at leon and and um cersei's uh, odd looking humans and he looks at summer i struck a pose you don't look very human well, I'm only <laughs> half human. Your and I'm ears are pointy, animal. like Kenra, but you have no fur on your face. Yeah, I shave every day. Your entire face? <laughs> you have no snout either. Yeah, it's got a nose. <laughs> mm, Kenra, Kenra. <laughs> He's like taking notes. On each of you. I'm not a camera. Um, I start so, writing badly so that you're like right good things about me. Make, make a, and then make a, on a whim. Um, um, yeah, <laughs> I am so knowledgeable. You are. You look like a vegetable. Yeah, I just I just start like freestyling and, and trying to like. Can you, can you make a performance check at um, disadvantage? <laughs> what is the disadvantage? <laughs> I beg to defer. Well, okay, I will. Where is my performance check? <laughs> oh, that's not great. And then he looks at you and he's like, um, makes weird rhymes, must be cultural. <laughs> All right, are you here for the trial? Yes, we are. But learning from our previous mistake, then I look at the rest as a sign of knowledge. I would like to ask you about the trial. What can you tell us about it? This trial tests your mental capacity. That's it so involves much. figuring your way out of this labyrinth. <laughs> it's catered to your basic fears. Good luck. Twelve years? What, what, what are the rules like within the labyrinth? Figure out the riddle. Oh, yes. Or perhaps you could survive. I told you I'm riddles. very good at riddles. Well, <laughs> he doesn't care, right? <laughs> That's why you are a crop. Cover for each other's lacking, and his eyes widen as he looks at um, at Leon. <laughs> we aren't just a crop; we are the crop. Mm. Did you just call me lacking. <laughs> right? Um, he doesn't seem like he's gonna offer us more information. Um, shall get the rest. Shall we head off? What grass do I have in my pocket? How much grass you have in your pocket? Yeah. You ask that. Can you roll a d20? Grass. Oh. Let's see how much is left. Roll slash d20. Yeah. yeah. So slash r space. <laughs> <laughs> slash r space. <laughs> one d20. <laughs> you almost got it. <laughs> oh, Ooh. nice. Yeah, that made up for it. Um, just in case you forget, uh, remember <laughs> to toggle your advantage off. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Natural 20. You have, both of your pockets have full handfuls of grass. Nice. You just spent okay. your your natural 20 on a grass chair. You know what? <laughs> You'll see why soon. You'll see why soon. But it's important. Alright, okay. Perfect. Um, and then eventually you guys reach what appears to be this massive golden door lined with blue stripes and then he look he looks at you enter here once you enter you never come out <laughs> unless you are worthy okay tell him well then i'll be seeing you soon and then make finger guns <laughs> There have been initiates who have been here for months. Oh. Some come out in hours. 
some never return. Good luck, dark crop. 59 minutes because we're competitive. <laughs> Can I hug him? You, you wanna hug him? Yeah, because he's so wholesome. <laughs> you like him, hug him, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> so you, you begin to hug him, and he's just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Stop he's it. He's so wholesome. Leave. He's like, he's like the hug. grand like, father. This is <laughs> awkward. <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable. Please. Okay, there, there. Let go. Oh. And then he like brushes his robes. Oh, oh, summer. He he hugs the old man. Who hugged him? Xerxes or summer? Xerxes. What? Hey, it's so uncharacteristic. Xerxes is a weirdo. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! And I <laughs> go into the maze, I guess. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> so, you guys begin walking through this hallway. It eventually reaches some kind of staircase that descends and it spirals. Eventually, an hour passes, and you're still walking downstairs. Oh. Horrible. Sorry, there's only one path so far, right? There's no yeah. like... Okay. okay. I was wondering whether the labyrinth has already started. And just keep walking and walking. Okay. How long are you guys willing to walk for? Um... Depends how annoyed am I by the conversation that's happening around me as this happened. <laughs> I, can I start rapping about stairs? I I help by voguing. Yeah, you can. You can stare, but it's like you're barely there. Um, yeah. So like basically, I just start rapping. I I vogue to the very <laughs> mediocre rhythm that she's putting. Oh god! So yeah, yeah. Cart cart is so <laughs> done just right now. Mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> Based on your you previous performance, <laughs> but it's like you're hardly there. You're you want to make another bear, performance but check? I like cows. It's dark. You should bow. No, it's uh, magically lit. Okay. Mm. I have to make it at a disadvantage, right? Uh, you can make it flat now because there's oh, no there's nice. there's no one who is watching besides the party. Who cares about it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's slightly better than just now. It, the rhythm is there. How's yes, my you have something to vote to. How's my vote? Oh yeah, go ahead and make a performance check for your Vogue as well. Damn it. <laughs> You're being thrown off by the rhythm that Leon does not have. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's what's happening. Leon, you yeah. suck! <laughs> um, eventually... At first you thought this was part of the trial, right? Just walking down the staircase. But your sheer um, propensity to not be bored, to entertain yourselves, have bought you enough time to reach the bottom of the staircase, where you see a massive square room with a door behind that is open. It's just an archway. And then you see in the middle of the room uh, a pedestal with a square plat on top of a square platform made of granite. It's like three steps up to the pedestal. What's on the pedestal? Yeah, if you want to walk up there and look at it. Well, are you specifically doing that? Sure. So, Summer immediately walks I'm towards summer. the staircase. Do, 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 do. You <laughs> see what appears to be a handprint. Oh my god. Put your hand in it. I Put your hand in it. I do that. <laughs> okay. Um, you hear a shimmering sound. What do you want to do? Duck. Duck. Okay. Um, so what you see is, as soon as you duck, right? There's just you. You see around you a bright flash, and then 
nothing. I do it again. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, again you hear another shimmer. And I duck. <laughs> and I duck happens. again. <laughs> you duck and you hear another. You see the like blue light around you. Um, the rest of you, you just see. Um, there seems to be some kind of uh, laser-like light that shoots towards where uh, Summer's head would be, but she ducks in time to dodge it. <laughs> I'm like, guys, look! And I keep on doing it. <laughs> duck, duck. <laughs> yeah, and just keep seeing this, like, flash. Summer, Summer, come here! Stop it! Okay. <laughs> You see that? That was pretty cool though. Yeah, but you don't know what it's for. I don't know. Nothing's happening. <laughs> yeah. But you see there's a there's a handprint. And every time you touch the handprint, like this bright light shoots. Huh? Can, Can we, we just avoid this? Uh, what were you saying, John? Can we just avoid this and like walk around or something? Yeah, yeah. You can walk around and go through the archway. Okay, let's go! Sorry, before we leave, can we check out like the rest of the room? Like, is there any... I Like, I'm, my, my brain is thinking of uh, reflecting the light somewhere if we can. So, it, I'm trying to look out for any like, I don't know, special jewels or like coal. Make an investigation check. What am I doing? Yeah. Um, investigation... Oh, it's, I'm improving slowly. <laughs> Take some time to warm up. Dust. Um, yeah, you see that the walls are lined with many hieroglyphics depicting uh, Kefnet, scriptures, you see what you assume to be viziers reading from scrolls, um, you see uh, with the 12 you see a bunch of images of what you also assume to be initiates, um, they're carrying their weapons, they seem to be running, but I don't seem to understand what these hieroglyphics mean. Alright, fair enough. No reflective thingies. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna try just to do that again. But this time when I duck, I'm gonna hold out my dagger and like let the light, let the laser hit it. Okay. Yeah. See, the so... laser your skin. So you put your hand down as while well, you point the dagger towards where you think the light would yeah. be coming from. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this I, blue light shoots straight into your face. You pierce I, I, into this light, but you realize it's not. It's not physical at all. Okay. You don't even feel it against the dagger. Okay. So it's just. And you light. are now blind. Oh. What? But I. Oh. I, wait! I was ducking to you know. I wasn't oh, you're like, ducking? Yeah, you know, I, I imagine I was just like, I duck. Yeah, I just stuck my dagger out above my head like that. I'm not staring at it. Did you mention Don't that you were ducking just now? Yeah. I did. Okay. I said I do the same thing, but this time I stick my the dagger oh, out. Nice, yeah. yeah, you don't feel it at all. Okay. And I was like, oh, this is boring. And I carry yeah, it on. But you guys see, you guys oh, see lucky. it later. <laughs> I just revealed it, like... Um, yeah, we, we need to work on, on our talking properly process. Still getting used to using this cord. Yeah, but you guys can walk around and get into the next room. Around, I do not want to be blind. Don't know that technically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we don't actually know that. Technically. The laser must move on. Let's move on. Okay, yeah, let's move on. Yep. So as you guys enter the next room, um, you guys see it's just a massive room with hieroglyphics and you see net yet another uh, entrance across maybe it's like 50 to 60 feet away okay as you all start walking across this room um, is there anything else you guys want to do first mm. oh oh I feel like this is a hint stealth check or something check for traps Alright, so uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. Man, I have not been good at investigation so far. Fingers crossed, clicking it now. Oh, that's not... Mm, you know, it's cool. <laughs> it's not it's, rolling well today. It's just a yeah. room. Is there anything else? Yeah, can all of you make 
uh, intelligence saving throws. Oh dear. Please. Um, card at uh, disadvantage. Why? Because I didn't see it. Oh, you'll figure it out in a bit. Because you, you're the stupid. <laughs> So I think I clicked it twice, you can pick the first one. Yep. It's worse than the second one. Oh, fish cake. Okay. It's not doing <laughs> oh. But in, in his defense, at this advantage, she still did better than the other two. Okay, this is this is perfect. Okay, this is perfect for what exactly is supposed to happen. Um, so, you guys, as you guys walk through, it's a long hallway, right? It's a long room, right? It's like 50 feet by 20 feet. And you guys look at the hieroglyphics, and as you guys walk through the room, okay, except Leon. Leon, you can ignore everything that I say for the next two minutes, okay? <laughs> you know, you know when you, you know, in those TV shows when you walk, and then the entrance of the room seems to be getting further and further away. Yeah. You know, even though you're walking closer. You know that kind of imagery, okay? Yeah, yeah. And then you guys notice that, um, okay. Ignoring Leon's ignoring everything right now. Okay, most probably like I don't know counting the blades of grass that that he has, or something like that. And then you guys look to the to the hieroglyphics on the walls, right? And then all of you you see yourselves in these hieroglyphics. Like you look around, you see initiates and different uh, viziers, and you see the six, the five gods. And then you notice that there's this one hieroglyphic. That just looks exactly like you. Okay, and I'm gonna give you guys a bit of time to describe to me. Um, let's start with who rolled the worst? Cersei's. What is Hello. your greatest fear? Grasshoppers. Are you legit? Yep. <laughs> Cersei's biggest fear is grasshoppers. Yep. All right. Okay, so what you begin to see is at first you see the hieroglyphics of grasshoppers jump towards the hieroglyphic of you, right? Ooh. And that in itself already strikes a bit of fear, and then you take a step back, right? And then you suddenly see these hieroglyphics of the grasshoppers begin to jump out, and then they have wings, and they start swarming oh, around you, uh, and you start like smacking around, trying to hit these. Uh, these grasshoppers. Grasshopper hieroglyphics. Yeah. Summer, what is your greatest fear? Heights. Heights. Yes, heights. Okay. Red heels. Yeah, but they only like six inches. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Summer, you see yourself uh, in these hieroglyphics as well. Um, and you see the hieroglyphic of yourself walking towards the edge of a building right and then as as your hieroglyphic reaches the edge of the building suddenly you see yourself <laughs> standing over the edge um so high you see the sand at the bottom uh flowing and then when you turn around you see what what used to be like some kind of pathway that you were on is now completely gone you're standing on this pillar yeah and then I assume you're like tiptoeing and trying to stay on the pillar. No, I freaking just crouched down and hugged the pillar like just like, oh my god. Oh, no, no, it's, it, you're standing on the pillar, so there's nothing to crouch on unless you climb down the pillar. As in, I'm st I imagine I'm just standing on the pillar, right, on the platform, right? Yeah. So I just crouch down so I don't see the bottom as much. Okay. Yeah. And I just like cling onto the it's, edge and I'm like shaking. It, it's, it's tiny, it's like a foot wide. Oh no. Okay. 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 Last but certainly not least, card. What is your greatest fear? Dude, this is so. Which lordy is compared to the rest? <laughs> uh, <laughs> happiness is my greatest fear. But yeah, it's card. Card's greatest fear is that his um, his dad that he thought he killed obviously comes back to life to torment him with all the power and influence he has, and torture him in his life. This is dark. It is dark. So your I greatest mean, fear is your dad. This is more of the consequence of trying to stand up against him. Mm -hmm. that my dad's alive again, for instance. Someone so, did. I feel like your your hieroglyphic would be you, um, as you as you look at this horned creature, and you're like, wait, 
you it looks exactly like you you're like the only tiefling in this entire plane right and then um you see what you see this hooded figure walking towards you and passes through the wall uh, the hieroglyphic expands and it comes out and you see your mentor and for a moment you're shocked because like wait what, how the hell are you here and then as your mentor removes the hood you see your father's face and oh god right Jesus. and then yeah the entire drama scene that you had mentioned just just so that I have complete information um, what is your greatest fear, Leon? My greatest fear? It's... My greatest fear is just everyone having fun and not giving me any attention or validation. <laughs> Lack of validation. Yeah, and just like, no one cares about Leon. Like, he can be like, break dancing and everyone just has something more interesting to do than him. Oh. Yeah. How, how would you say Leon ignores <laughs> these or like <laughs> succeeds against um, this basically like it's a fear trap, right? Yeah, I guess, I guess he's... Um, I don't think. So there'll be people ignoring him, right? I mean, you see the three of them already panicking. So he just walks on. <laughs> Wait, Leon, Leon's idea was because it's a labyrinth, right? Like yeah. this smart little boy thought that he could he could drop um little blades of grass as he walked to like Hansel and Gretel and track where he's going. But then it's becoming really complex. So I'm guessing like as he's walking, he's just really concentrating on like Dropping the Where, grapes of yeah, grass. Like just like slowly <laughs> and like making sure that nobody is looking and like because he wants to do this big reveal later when he saved everyone. So yeah, that's what he's that's what he's doing. And so it's on his mind right now. Yeah, okay. He's, he's being Hansel and Gretel. And then <laughs> yeah, so you guys you guys are you guys are proceeding with your you you continue moving. Everyone's panicking right now. You can see them. Like you see Summer crouching, um, you see Cersei's like swinging his punches around as if he's trying to hit something, waving his hands, and you see Card um, like beginning to break down. Maybe the cry though, he's he's more scared. Like he's more like oh like heart palpitating. Shit, what am I gonna do? Yeah, yeah, Anything. like. Uh, you're in a defensive stance. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to fight or run away. Most likely run away. Yeah, and you you, you see them doing this, Leon. I, I pick up what grass I put down, like mm-hmm. just a little bit. And then I I approach Summer first because she's been the nicest to me. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's that's fake. I, I approach Cersei's. <laughs> the hell? Kind has been so nice. I just do it edgy for me. Okay, I approach Cersei's and I kind of like try to try to um kind of like hit him. Yeah, I just start hitting his shoulders because I'm quite small. So like, like, his like arm how, really. how how are you hitting his arms? Like just slapping it or Yeah, like slapping it. Can you just click on strength on your sheet? Sure. My strength. Oh, here it is. Mm. So it's these. What is your AC? <laughs> it is 16. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh-oh. Uh oh. Leon, you you miss because he seems to be swinging around. No. So it's Can you make one unarmed strike? No. Um, yeah. So, Leon, you feel you feel Cersei's, uh, just like, punch you in the armor, but you don't take any damage. Oh. You just hear the the the, the clanging of metal Clang. against fist. I start to like I start to like tell him to get out of it, like snap out of it. 
Yeah. When when the, when that happened, um, Cersei, can you make another intelligence saving throw? No. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Punching metal hurts. Like your vision is being completely blocked out as these grasshoppers begin to cloud your everything you see. Everywhere you turn, Holy you just shit. see swarms and swarms. What would Cersei's do? He would just. Well, firstly, he would start vomiting because it's disgusting as hell, and yeah. he would start like spasming on the spot. So. So Leon, you see, you see Xerxes punch you, oh, and then suddenly he drops to the floor and he starts puking. Because <laughs> apparently grasshoppers are gross. <laughs> Giant grasshoppers are gross. Yeah. Leon, what do you? I. Ooh, do I still have the water? No, right. I drank it. Yeah, I mean, you still have like your own ration of water. Okay, I'm gonna splash some water on his face. Okay. Cersei, can you make another intelligence saving throw? I think because this was a lot easier. Can you do this at advantage? Okay. Okay, so the moment you the moment you puke, you feel water splash on your face. And then um as you blink, you see the grasshopper slowly disappear. Oh, then I stand yeah. up and I, I like shake the water off my face. I think at this point, um, Card is most probably like slashing against the wall. <laughs> okay, I'm going to I'm going to uh, save Card first, then before he injures himself. Oh, I'm gonna splash some water on Card as well. Um, okay. Yeah, card. Can you, can you just make a straight intelligence, Dave? Uh, well, yeah, it's sixteen. Yeah, yeah. So this, I don't know. Is this water freaking magical? Magic water. <laughs> yeah, you're you're only really at disadvantage right now, but um, we'll take the sixteen because we take the left numbers and uh, you roll it wrong. So, um, yeah, you. I think. How would you describe it? Like you take a stab at what you think is your father, and then you just feel the water in your face. And then when you open up yeah. your eyes, you just see your blade in the wall. Yes, yeah, uh, did my blade go through the wall? <laughs> no, I mean like um, it's not like all the way, but yeah. like to to an inch maybe. Okay, all right, yeah, I I just I just step out of it, man. Like my what I thought was my dad just disappeared, and I look up, it's just a stone-ish, hieroglyphic covered wall. I'm just like, what the fuck? What the hell? Like, mm -hmm. right. And then I look left and I and I just see like, Leon with his sprinkle of water. I'm just like, oh, okay. And I immediately just stand up, pat myself down, and like, act like nothing's wrong. I am uh, visibly shaken. I act like I'm not. Now, Leon, do you say anything to Carl? Daddy issues. She, does, she doesn't know. Do oh, you know? I, know I, think okay. I, my, I don't know if I did. Okay, wait, let me think. Me, yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, what did that wall ever do to you? Oh. Um, I thought it was someone. Someone is still caught up in the ball and basically crying. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna go <laughs> give someone. I feel bad. She's, she's mean to me, but she's still my friend, I guess. But I spray like significantly less water on top. Can you make an intelligence saving throw? Mm -hmm. That was ineffective water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you 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 suddenly see look up to the sky, right? And then you see it darken and it begins raining oh. and you feel the wind blowing against you. <laughs> While well, you stand on this foot I'm, wide square I'm, platform, I'm crouched and crying and hugging myself. And <laughs> okay, I'm you gonna... feel you feel the water. You feel the water on your. So you begin to think that this rain is legit. I'm gonna like take take Summer's hands, like grab one of her hands with each of my hands, and like force her to roll to try and like wake her up. 
force out of vogue. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> like, can can you vogue. make um uh, let's say performance or um athletics? I think some summer is summer strong? No, I summer is an eight in strength. Yeah, I don't um yeah. You can do strength or performance, um Leon. Okay, I'm gonna do performance. Oh. Nice. <laughs> you feel Leon. carry. Yeah, Leon. Leon carry for today, <laughs> for for this for this trial. <laughs> the one that you all call dumb. Yeah, I'm the most knowledgeable guy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not in my grass. So so Leon, can you describe how you force Summer to do Vogue? Wait. I know so that. So this is oh. the and then it will be cutting in between what you describe and what I describe. But let's let's sure. see what you describe first. So like I, I know that Vogue kind of cheers Summer up. So I just because she's like crouching and her hands are under her, right? So I just try to wrangle her like I, I pull her hands from under her and then I make them into I, I make her palms flat and then I just start like doing the, the voguing actions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I just keep repeating it and <laughs> pray that she looks like she's waking up. So, um, just just for you players and for chat who's watching this for the first time, I like to describe things as if we're watching like a, a film or some kind of TV show, right? So what what I'm imagining right now is that we see this cute old dwarven man yanking this um, half elven. Uh, ladies arms and like positioning her into vogue positions and it cuts right and then you see um, Summer in the rain and suddenly she she's alone and her hands are being like forced up into your vogue positions so to you Summer what you feel is unseen force yanking your hands open into what you feel is it feels like your vogue position some of your vogue positions close enough a bit lower because you know um Leon's not as tall as you and then uh, you begin to feel your vogue come back to you and then you let your dance um like take over and eventually when after a couple of blinks you suddenly see your back in the in the room I hug Leon oh thank you thank you thank you Thank you, thank you. I literally <laughs> never mentioned the part where I was upset at her ever again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And you guys see the exit. It's like a meter away from you guys, like five feet or so. Less than five feet away from y'all. Okay, let's let's go guys. I don't trust this place. And then I drop like one blade of grass down because I haven't given up on my idea. <laughs> and I just carefully place it on the floor. Yeah. And as you guys approach the third room, you see a giant pool. Like it makes up most of this room. Maybe you have like five to ten feet of walking space around the border of the room. Right? And then you see a pool. And the entire pool is red Ooh. and then you see these two snake heads um, at the edge that are dripping um, the red liquid from their fangs just slowly dripping into the pool and the normal of course hieroglyphics around the whole room can I put like can I like dip a blade of grass into the pool to see like if it dissolves or anything? Okay, so you, you dip it. Um, it feels heavier. And as you pull it out, half of uh, that the, the the part of the blade of grass that was under the red liquid is grey. It turned to stone. Did it turn to stone? Yeah, when you feel it, yeah, it feels like it turned to stone. Yeah. Oh, I'm push cut inside. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not going to. It's just an impulse. <laughs> Alright. Um, 
Card observes the turning the stone and very smartly says, I guess we shouldn't go inside. To my contribution. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kara doesn't know what to do. Let's just walk around it. Yeah, there's no more doors. Oh shit. Oh. It's probably inside. Can we look inside the water? Is it transparent ish? It's pretty opaque. Just saying. Is there anything? Um, actually, wait, no, I probably have something in my inventory. I want to drop something in like, and see if we can get rid. I don't know. Actually, it's opaque. And it okay, I want to see if it floats or not. Okay. It's stone. Also, How's it going to float? Oh my float gosh, I'm going to pronounce this morning. It's, like a, uh, it's not going to float. I'm going to float. Stone. Stone? Huh. Well, I have rope. Can I just dip my rope inside and see if the same thing happens? Okay, um, let's take a five minute break. Ooh, We've it... overshot by about 14 minutes for our break, actually. Ooh. Yeah, uh, I think we all got distracted by by the fear the fear room. So we'll be back in about five minutes. And you, you party can discuss this. So see you guys in a bit. Thank you guys so much for coming by. And we'll see you in five minutes. Bye. Bye. Bye.